We're here in Monte Carlo, in the city-state of Monaco. The little principality is situated bordered by France here on the Mediterranean coast. 78 laps make up the race, each lap being 3,340 meters. There's 11 right turns, eight to the left, plus the smallest pit lane of the season. Mark Webber was the man congratulated by Prince Albert of Monaco last year. A healthy credit card here is essential. Over the weekend, the prices go sky high everywhere. Manhole covers, crash barriers, and hardly any runoff zones. From 63 kilometers per hour in first gear through the Raskas or in seventh gear through the tunnel. A quick overview now, including all key points in our animation. We begin at the start finish line. A word about setup, the wings are set as steeply as possible, as through the narrow lanes, the cars seldom go really fast. It's a completely different track compared to every track we race. It's very tight, it's very small. Massini, a corner taken in fourth gear at 160 kilometers per hour. There's no stopping at the zebra crossing as the chasing cars are lurking just behind. Qualifying is key. In the race, it's every man for himself, is it not? Yes, you are racing other people, but I don't feel like you, you're always racing against the other competitors because the track is always asking you to give more. And uh, if, you, if you bite and try to give it more, then obviously you crash. The tunnel, one of the few chances to overtake. Coming out of it, the drivers reach a top speed of 289 kilometers per hour. And if you're in front, obviously you can control the race quite well. It's an easy race to manipulate the Grand Prix. But if you're behind, it can be very frustrating because you spend the whole race uh, in the gearbox or somewhere. Now, the most brutal chicane, generating 4.53 G over 110 meters. Through the harbor corner, it's then at snail's pace, 64 kilometers per hour, second gear. In the next four seconds, you're accelerating back up to 200, something only an F1 car can do.